Okay, so Lynn Walder, and I'm here with Jack Carr. There's hey, a hey. lot of, uh, despite being a mortal sin, there's a lot of envy and covetousness between us right now. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I it owned, didn't always look like this. I owned this vehicle, <laughs> not this particular vehicle, but one this year uh -huh. in this model, and it never looked, sounded, or felt like this. Yeah, so, I mean, it did not always look like this. This was my, this original, this is the original paint color, but it's new paint. Um, but yeah, this is my old Land Cruiser, and I always wanted the guys at Icon 4x4 TLC to do uh, give it a makeover and do that stage three restoration frame off and uh, put something in it that could really run. I always wanted a little sleeper. So I, when it was in its former state, when I was in San Diego and the SEAL teams, I'd drive up to LA and give it to them and have them just do the once over, put new belts in and change everything out, just make sure it wasn't gonna, gonna break down. And, uh, and so I got to know those guys up there over a, a few trips. They got to know the vehicle. And then when we left San Diego and moved up here to Park City, Utah, I left it behind. Left it behind with them and we've gotten a two year line waiting for a restoration. It was right so behind Joe Rogan's. While yep. you were gone. Yep. It's cranked right every there. time when you got back from deployment? Uh yeah, I think so. Yeah, every I can't time, remember it not. Which which I would expect it to do, right? Yeah, no. For it's the most uh, part. Beautiful iconic vehicle. I love them of course and I really got infatuated with them after my first deployment to Afghanistan because I looked around and I saw the Hiluxes that were being used. I saw Land Cruisers out there and thought there's a must, there must be a reason that all these vehicles that everyone gravitates to in these places that are pretty nasty are Toyotas, our Land Cruisers, our Hiluxes. And uh, so I got back from that deployment and knew I had to knew I had to get one, but uh, and it also had to make an appearance in the novel. It did. So it's in the, I was going to say, yeah. James Reese, in your first novel, this yep. is uh, the vehicle that he cranked. Yep. And unfortunately went home to find the bad news that he found with his family. Yep, yep. Uh, but I wanted the vehicle to be, I think it's probably because I'm a child of the 80s and we had, of course, the we had the Fall Guy and Knight Rider and Dukes of Hazard, right. and we had like Airwolf with that. You had Magnum's Ferrari. You had the, the Simon and Simon uh, uh, sure. Power Wagon, which was my right. favorite of all those. And uh, so I knew that I had to have a vehicle that was kind of like a character in my novels as well. So that's this Land Cruiser. And then it makes an appearance in the third novel in essentially this exact in setup. In this exact form. Yeah. And, and, and you can you can read about it, but I get to see it today. So, which is- That's right. Which is right incredible. And I, uh, yeah, I like to use weapons and gear to tell a story and to help develop characters. And same thing with this. So I have one character that is a, a Land Cruiser person and the other as his Defender 110. So they're kind of counterpoints to, to one another and get to have that argument about which one is better. Although we both know. Good luck to him. Yeah, I'm on your one. team. That. <laughs> so tell us about it. Walk us through. This. So two year just wait and then a year, year process. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So it's a two year so wait just getting in line. Old. Yep. Okay. Now, how long did you think through what you wanted? How, how long I had a lot of time. Was that? <laughs> that was 10 plus years. So you had 10 years plus two. <laughs> so it took, yeah, sitting, okay. exactly. So I had a lot of time and I was going back and forth like, oh, do I want to have this thing all decked out with the winch and the, and the snorkel, yeah, snorkel and, right, right, and the right, safari right. rack yeah. and the whole thing and the <clears throat> swing out tire mount on the back and the whole deal. And I kept going back and forth, back and forth. And then I decided that this one I wanted to keep clean. I wanted this to be a sleeper. And uh, the engine in here is the LS3, so it's the Corvette engine in here, and it's, uh, it's insane. Um, so I wanted something that only Land Cruiser aficionados would take a double look at, and most other people would just be like, eh. But if you know what you're looking for, people that really know Land Cruisers and are into it, and into the restorations, would look at it once and then look back, and uh, we could have a conversation about it because they have that love of the vehicle. So right. uh, I wanted to keep it looking essentially stock-ish, uh, unless you really know what you're looking for. So we have the, the suspension and the tires, of course. The wheels are from a company in Australia. These are the last ones uh, that they had. Unfortunately, they went out of business. But uh, I wanted they to look semi-stock, but to be a sleeper. And I recall that many, many of the parts for Land Cruisers are from Australia. Like they have a lot of the big overlanding. Really yeah, got and figured it out. Yep. Yeah, right. big overlanding community over there, just like uh, in Africa, where you see those Land Cruisers over there that are all decked out with those racks in the back and everything that are just awesome that you can't get in the states, unfortunately. It's so cool that uh, that people are so into these, and it's just a community. It's a really cool community, which also helps with the novel because it's a niche that uh, most other authors. Uh, aren't as passionate about or haven't tapped into. So there's just the community of people that love reading the novels because there's Land Cruisers in there. So it brings a whole different audience and readership to the books. And if you're not into it when you start the book, you should It's just be. a car, yeah. <laughs> if you you're should, not used to it, it's just a car, okay. Yeah. But uh, if you're into it, you're like, oh man, this guy knows what he's talking about and he's really into this sort of thing and he's not just, didn't just look this up online. 
he actually has one and uh, and loves them. So uh, yeah, super cool. They did they frame off restoration. Inside's amazing. Uh, got the the ARB air compressor, the whole thing. So it's a it's a it's a beast. Yep. So this is where I take the the, whatever, the advice of Jonathan Ward and uh, LS3 Corvette engine in here. So that thing. Now, has, why did he why did he spec that? For I think because they've done so many different ones over the years, and in California, for some reason, you can't do the diesel conversions there anymore, even oh. though it's actually better for the environment and for gas mileage and. Because that's else. what's in Africa. But, uh, is the what the four two diesels, yeah. right? And they uh, and yeah they can't get they can't bring those in and there's no airbags <laughs> and a bunch of reasons right, you can't right. bring them in. But uh, but for this one they've done so many of these that this is what they recommended after all the engines doing it for all those years. This is the one they recommended. So I said, okay, yes sir, let's do it. Ironically, this probably gets better gas mileage than the <laughs> original. <laughs> you know, did you have the straight does. six in here before yep. that was basically a tractor engine, yep. which was bummer. Yeah, uh, and it always yeah, ran, cool engine. You know, for a while there, uh, I wanted to have another one that was all stock, all original, and uh, you know, I might still do that someday. But yeah, this thing fits great. You can see just how much room there There's is in here. Room. Yeah, it fits, fits great. And so this is what they recommended. And so I think it's 430 horsepower, but really it's a little bit more than that. But from the factory, they say it's it's uh, it's 430. 430. Yeah, but you get a little more out of it. But yeah, super cool air compressor over there from ARB. And, uh, Definitely different brakes. Sick. Everything is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it drives like a like a brand new anything you'd buy off the lot today. Mm -hmm.